Hi everyone, I hope you all are doing good and I'm sure you all are experiencing the wonderful love and providence of our Jesus Christ in our lives. So today I, I thought I'll make a small video um, and I thought I'll share some of my thoughts that came into my mind today morning. So while I was praying today, I read a Bible message which said in Luke chapter 6, Jesus Christ chose 12 apostles among his disciples. Now among his disciples, this word made me to take a pause for a while. And I started thinking, is there any difference between the disciples and apostles? Because the sentence, the, the, mess, the verse very clearly says, 12 apostles were chosen among the disciples. Now, disciples is something, maybe a wider uh, used term. And apostle is a very specific term used for only 12 which means a something called the inner circle belong to Jesus Christ now I wanted to understand if there is any difference between disciple and an apostle so so this started creating some questions in my mind because I have seen a lot of people ending up using the term 12 disciples or 12 apostles uh, our disciple and an apostle both are same referring to a same meaning or is there any difference between both of them so that that was the uh, understanding which I was really wanted to have and then I found out yes there is a difference between a disciple and an apostle I found out some of the words some of the Bible messages that actually refers to a difference between a disciple and an apostle. Generally, a disciple means to follow Christ with full of your heart. You get into a commitment, you get into an agreement and you consciously decide that you are going to live your life for Christ. Today, Jesus calls every one of us for his discipleship. In John chapter 12 verses 26, it says, Whoever serves me must follow me and where I am, my servant also will be. My father will honor the one who serves me. The term disciple is widely used than apostle and it is generally used to describe people who are outside the so-called T12. To make it more clear, today, as I stated earlier, when I was reading through the words from Luke chapter 6 verses 14 which says at daybreak he called together all of his disciples and chose 12 of them to be apostles what does this indicate isn't it this very clear that there were many more disciples and out of those disciples God chose the 12 to become apostles a disciple is someone who decides 
to follow the Christ who entrusts himself in the teachings of the Christ and consciously he commits to himself that he is going to follow Jesus Christ. Now let us see what it means to be an apostle. Apostle usually refers to people who are sent or who are chosen for a specific reason or a specific purpose. Apostle is derived from a Greek word apostolos which in its components when set apart apo and stelo which means from and to send. So Jesus chose 12 apostles from the disciples for a specific reason which means all these 12 apostles who are chosen will be sent across to become the messengers of God which also means they are going to witness the life, death and the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ. If I have to give you a broader view, to become a disciple you have to be the follower of Christ first. Second, if you have to become an apostle, you have to become a disciple. So this is the hierarchy. A disciple is the one who learns from a teacher and, and an apostle is the one who delivers those teachings or a message to the entire world. He bears a witness and he becomes a messenger of God. Hope this video was helpful to you all. Please do subscribe to my channel in order to weave a similar content like this. Also, please click on that bell icon to get the notifications about my channel. Before I sign off, I wanted to answer to one of the question that one of my weaver had asked me earlier. Uh, so he had uh, come up with some interesting questions. So he wanted to know what exactly is my channel all about and uh, on what is the real motive uh, behind this videos and, and all of this. So uh, to answer your question, uh, I'm not doing this as a full time. I'm just doing this to glorify my God. Uh, and I consider this as my commitment to my Lord. For example, me being a common person, a common man, how do I encounter my Jesus Christ in my life? Uh, it could be my, at my workplace, it could be amongst my, my friendship circle, amongst my family, um, things like that. And uh, to give an uh, idea about the content what I do, this is more related to a Christian lifestyle. As I stated, my day-to-day -day, uh, experience, uh, my, my thoughts that I keep getting, I keep sharing, sharing it with you all. And uh, second, it's related to some uh, musical journey of mine. And uh, yeah, that's it. So uh, I hope I answered your question. So thank you for watching my video. Be safe and God bless you all.